Hello po. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Uh, tonight, we're reading a book, The Christmas Fairy. Okay? Yan. Okay. Two men were talking outside in the street. Dolly could hear them quite clearly from the window, said where she sat. Quite a nip in the air, said one. Sure sign of Christmas on the way, said the other. We always look forward to Christmas in our house. Dolly shivered, wishing she could pull her then dress closer around her. If only she were still Still at the big house, she thought Christmas had always been special there. That was when Dolly had lived in a big doll's house with the most delicious warm smells wafting up from the downstairs kitchen and decoration in every room. Once, once there had even been a Christmas tree in the big nursery, there was a fairy doll at the very top smiling down at them all. Dolly thought she was beautiful. If only she thought, if, I, if only I could wear a lovely dress like that, and hold a wand in my hand. What wishes I'd give everyone for Christmas. Years pass, and the little girl who owned Dolly drew up, but somehow Dolly was always there at Christmas. Young visitors who called often played with her. Dolly loved every minute until one Christmas she got quite a shock look shock look mummy called out one little girl look at this funny doll old doll It was my mother when she was about your age. Smile her, auntie, then she gave her to me. When I have a little girl, I expect I'll pass it on to her too. There have been many little girls. Over the years, Dolly remembered. They all grew up, but she stayed the same. The Christmas was still her favorite time of the year. Then one Christmas something happened. Underneath the big Christmas tree, there was a big parcel tied with ribbon. The little... The little girl could hardly wait to open it. Inside was quite the most splendid doll. She had soft curly hair, big blue eyes which of opened the clothes and the loveliest dress Dolly had ever seen. I shall call her Arabella cried. The little girl in delight. Look, mommy and daddy. She can walk too. Dolly could not help feeling sad. The little girl played with Arabella every day after that. By the end of the Christmas holiday, Dolly knew she had been forgotten. What 
are going to do with that old wooden doll, dear. The little girl's daddy asked his wife, Is there anyone we know who would like it? Not really, answered the little girl's mommy. Beside children don't play with wooden dolls. Nowadays, she can go on the window sill for now. And except for the times when the window were clean or the window sill dusted, Dolly was quite alone. At Christmas, through rare, she felt so called so miserable. Nobody would miss me here, she thought, looking out into the street. It was terrible hearing the two men sounding so cheerful when she had never been so unhappy. Suddenly, the door opened, and the little girl's mother ho hurried across the room to open the window. Are you collecting rubbish? she called to the two men. Can you take a pile of gold newspapers? Be right with you, ma'am. One shouted back. They didn't see Dolly falling out into the street. She lay there for what seems a very long time, cold and weak, and wishing she could cry for help. Every so often she could hear somebody talking about Christmas. Hello, cried a voice, and Dolly felt a rough head picking her up. What have we got here? Something for the rubbish tip. I reckon Mike said someone else. Fermi Dolly felt colder than ever. Then the first man said, Oh, I might as well take her home. Maybe my little girl will like her. Dolly did hope so. Well, said the man, when he sh showed Dolly to his daughter. What do you think? Why can't she move her arms and legs? Asked the little girl. Because she's made of wood, silly, laughed the little girl's mother. Your nana had one just like this when I was about your age. She was fun to play with. And her mummy went on she's just what we need for Christmas. Soon the little girl was sweeping all the mud and dirt of Dolly and asked for her mummy. She made Dolly a pretty fairy dress with silver wings, a tinsel crown, and a lovely silver wand. Dolly was ready to grant all the wishes made around the Christmas tree. I wonder if Dolly gets a wish, too, said the little girl. You know, said her mummy, I think she's had her wish already and so i have thought dolly the end so dolly she's a pretty little girl and she loved her her doll's house and fairy dress 
and the trees and Christmas trees. Oh, this is, I think, when the children know this story, this is the children's story. If they're really interested, well, I show the, the words and I read it. Sometimes I can read properly, sometimes I can because normally I can see it. Sometimes I can, sometimes not. Well, Happy Christmas tonight is December 24. Tomorrow is Christmas Day and tomorrow I will read another book. This is the book, Christmas Stories. And so a beautiful book, especially the, the night before Christmas. Oh, so brilliant story that is. And <clears throat> the Christmas story, the fairy one. Oh, it's good. It's really, really good. The dolly one. Yeah, that's all. And happy Christmas to you all. And especially the children. Christmas about children, isn't it? Look, the Christmas fairy, I mean. Yeah, Christmas is about children. Their enjoyment and... Not for children as well, for adults. Some, some adults, well, it costs money, is it? But what can we do? It's Christmas. Okay, happy Christmas all. Thank you very much.